All right, guys, we're back with round three, Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Randy on the left playing Black Wings versus Leonard on the right playing Quick Draw. So it looks like Leonard does shoots Randy, and Randy's hand is Double Kalut, Double Whirlwind, Solemn, and Icarus. Yeah, this is one hand where Dust Shoot doesn't even matter. So he double gets two searches off the Whirlwind, searches Blizzard and probably Gale. And he's going to set Solemn and Icarus here. Yep, set Solemn, set Icarus. Oh, he attacks into Gores. Okay. So that's first damage. Does he special summon the Gale here in half? Or. I mean, you have Icarus for the Gores and the token, so. Let's see what Randy decides to do. So he only set the Icarus, kept the Solemn in his hand, so let's see what happens here. Hey! Oh, no, Randy didn't set the Solemn! <laughs> oh man but even the even so okay so you traded heavy and gores so the two whirlwinds replaced themselves okay yeah, you traded heavy and gores for an icarus and a Kalut. yeah you you probably just overwhelm him if you set the solemn there but i wonder why he didn't surprising uh so a little bit about these two this is leonard's first time on the channel but it's not the first time i've seen him at the local i think this is like the second or third time i've seen him so he's playing quick draw on a quick draw match. It's a beautiful match. Shout out to him. And Randy just got back into Edison recently. But he's done he's done well. The few tournaments he entered, he was playing by you. He made top four twice already. He's always, I've known him forever. He's part of my team. Great player. He's top Nats. Top Nats twice. Top 64 back in 2012 and 2013. He actually beat me round one of this tournament with my own Blackwing deck. <laughs> All right, so he passed. Yeah, he wanted to try Black Wings. He's kind of a little tired of Bayou. All right, so here he blizzards for Kalut. Special summons Gale. So we're at 58.66. He has D-Prison Solemn. And did he draw heavy? I think he drew heavy. So let's see. What will Randy do here? He can make Armed Wing. I'm trying to think. What 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 is Randy thinking? What is he going to do? So he has the Catastor. So he can run over the Catastor. He has a lot of choices. I wonder what decision he's going to make. He's looking at his extra deck. So you could go Arnwing. The Blizzard can run over the Catastor. So you can go like Arnwing, pierce the token. But do you want to leave him with nothing? That's the question. I don't think you can. I don't think he can. He can only run over two monsters. So do you run over the two tokens or do you run over the Catastor? I think he's going to go arm wing and then attack over Catastor and pierce a token. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to do. You can also just leave the Catastor up and just... Nah, but that doesn't seem worth it. I think you get rid of the Catastor. Yeah, take he takes 100 here. And then 28. Yeah, because you want to pierce the token again next turn, potentially. Unless if, unless if he crashes the token into the, blizz, the, the Blizzard, he could do that as well. Now, what will Randy do with these three back rows? So he sets all three of them. Heavy, deprisoned, solemn. And it's not like he can heavy you again. The only thing you're afraid of is like a debris dragon. Oh, but he's got the Caius. Okay. So here I'm wondering, will Randy solemn this Caius? So we're at 5837. Oh no, he didn't drop Caius. I'm pretty sure he has Caius. Oh no. Oh, no, should have Kai's because you're going to get pierced by the, that. Uh, that's actually game on board, is it? It should be game. Tribute for Sorok. Oh, now he's just going to pump. And here comes Bottomless. And here comes Solemn from Randy. And pump. Attack for game right there. I, I'm pretty sure I saw Kai's in his hand, but I could be wrong. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw Kai's. So anyway, game two. Leonard's going first. So who will who will get to their first finals, Leonard or Randy? I don't know much about Leonard. First time I met him yesterday, so we'll see how he does. So it looks like he set a monster, set a back, set two back rows, and passes. Does shoot two games in a row. Randy's hand is Blizzard, Bayou, Bora, D Prison, Oppression. Sends back the Bora. I think it's Black Whirlwind. And then Randy drew Whirlwind both games. But last game he opened both. Uh, 
and Randy summons Veyu attacks, probably hoping it's a Raikou, and then here it gets deep prison, so it probably is a Raikou. So Randy's reading a Raikou, and that's why he uh, he didn't set anything. And here, oh, Kaiku, but there's nothing in the grave, so he hits him for 18, so we're at 62 to 8,000. Sets one and passes. Um, let's see. So now Randy sets two. End phase, MSTs. Oh, no, he's at the bluffed whirlwind. Uh, I think he drew another one. Oh, yeah, he drew both his whirlwinds. So he set one of them as a bluff. Okay. So Kaiku hits him again for 18. So we're at 44 to 8,000. Leonard sets one. Here comes Allure. I thought it was upstart for a second. Banishes Blizzard, activates second whirlwind, summon Bora. So did he set the oppression or the D prison? Mm. Leonard's got heavy storm in his hand. I can see it from hit from this angle. Oh, Randy sets those two. I don't think he has small him. He's gonna get blown out by heavy. So oh, Bora attacks the set monster. Here comes D prison. No, Randy, don't set two. No. You're gonna get blown up by heavy. Slam it down. Heavy. <laughs> heavy for four. Oh man, that's that's GG. Just scoop him up. <laughs> oh man. Now we're at 26 to AK. All Randy has is Kalut to his name. And Lander's got another back row. Did he just drop brain control? He set a bluff break control. Man. And we still don't know what Lender's face down is. He has not flipped it. I thought it was Ryko, but he has not flipped it. it. Must be Dandy. Yeah, it's Dandy. Okay, so sink for five. And Randy scoops. So here we go. Game three. Will Leonard pull off the backdoor 2-0 and knock out Randy? We'll see. Randy activates a lure. Ooh, Shura. Manages Kalut, so he drew into Shura off the world off the Allure. No whirlwind this game for Randy. We'll see if Leonard draws Trap Dust for the third game in a row. Ooh, Randy again with the Solemn. So you can tell Randy's not setting Solemn first turn because he doesn't want to give up half his, half his life early game. I've been thinking about doing that as well. Unless the only time I do I do set a bunch is if I have like four back row. All right, so it looks like Randy sets two more. And does he blind dust or something and try to snipe? See, oh, he snipes a solemn. Sometimes you're better off holding the dust tornadoes. And I, like, I don't know what his sets are, but like, you kind of, against Black Wings, you kind of want to snipe their oppression and their Black Whirlwind. You kind of don't want to just randomly dust their back rows. Especially with a deck like Quick Draw, Oppression really, really hurts your deck. Also, he's set for Dust Tornado. I think he's set for Dust Tornado's effect. <clears throat> Did Randy side Nobleman against Quick Draw? I guess it stops Hamster and Raiko. And you could even hit Dandy if they set it. Not a bad side card. So Leonard passed. So no Dust. So this game, we saw game one and game two. Randy opened both whirlwinds. Well, he didn't open both. He drew into the second whirlwind the second game. So here he goes heavy. And chain trap stun, twister. Oh, he had all the... No, okay, so that's why he didn't care. Wait, what the heck is that? I don't know what that is. It looks like a jar card, but which jar card is that? Must be some new printing of Avarice. I don't know. I've never seen that. In my life. I don't know what that is. Okay, Battle Fader and Quick Draw. So what is Leonard's hand? I think he's got... It looks like he has Brain Control. Yeah, Brain Control, 800 from... He chains Icarus, gets rid of the targets, the Brain Control, and the Battle Fader. So Randy's left with, like, Cross Out, MST, I think Shura, and a few other cards. Yes, cross up. MST Leonard sets one. Randy draws into Mirror Force. Sets one and passes. 
now I understand why Leonard kind of didn't mind just random dust because he had trap stun and yeah, he had trap stun and twister to stop an oppression or uh oh Randy drew into the whirlwind sure whirlwind the blue whirlwind special maybe Randy's gonna take over the the sure whirlwind combo make claim it as his own we need someone who's consistent with black wings I like the blue whirlwind special that one's my favorite so far that people have come up with all right so Randy's with Randy's got cross out mirror force did he attack him last turn I wasn't paying attention okay 800 and this time he does hit with Shura, composes the Shura. Oh, that's not good. And he just summoned that thing next turn. And now Lender sets another back row passes. He drew Sirocco, tributes the value for Sirocco. So basically, if he if he does anything to stop the Sirocco, he's going to have a follow-up play with Vayu. Yep. So here the Sirocco gets mirror forced. Now Randy just up. A lot of cards. I mean, Leonard's got three cards while Randy's got like seven or, yeah, it looks like seven cards. This game's not looking good for Leonard. So Randy activates Vayu's effect. Mirror Force is gone. The only thing you're really afraid of is, I don't think he's used Torrential. Maybe he's trying to bait out a bottomless, but he's not going to bottomless this. Or does he have to? I don't know. I don't think, I don't think you do because you got to stop the whirlwind. So Randy summons Bora, and then if you don't have Torrential... You're in trouble, man. Unless if you heavy did, I would, and I may, maybe I missed it. So, wait, he didn't search for whirlwind, and that is game. Okay, so seventeen fourth. I must have missed a sure hit. So Randy's moving on. Uh, both these guys were X one, so Randy has to win the last round to make top eight. While Leonard, it was four rounds of Swiss cut the top eight. While Leonard, uh, he's got to win last round, and hopefully his tiebreakers can carry him in. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that match, and we'll be back soon for the last round of Swiss. Bye, guys.